So you should really go have a look at the CK Editor website and look at all the plugins they have. They have lots of plugins. A few are commercial you have to pay for, not that many. Most of them are free. And you'd be surprised what you can find. So just here, a few examples of uh, plugins that I like. I think they're very useful. Uh, this one here, for instance, the simple HTML5 audio. You have other audio players. Uh, this one has uh, more features. It's nicer. Uh, for instance, you can disable the download button, uh, which you can do on others. So that's nice. Um, so let's let's uh, try to install it. And I'm going to show you something that's actually really cool. Is because it actually works really well with the Concrete Five, um, especially because Concrete Five was really well built. So we're going to see an example here. So uh, I'm going to upload my plugin like we did before, HTML5 audio, and everything is going found. There's one dependency, but it's already there, so no problem. Uh, my player uh, is called HTML audio. I think it's called simple HTML audio or something like that. It doesn't matter. Just give it a name as long as it's unique. and. I'm going to activate it, of course, and I'm going to save it. And once it's uh, saved, uh, I'm going to go back to my, uh, my editor, my uh, content page, uh, and I'm going to edit. So I'm going to put my player here. And here's my icon. See? So why am I saying it's really nicely integrated into Concrete 5, like they're not doing anything, is because, look, if you come here, URL, and you have the Browse Server button, and if you click on it, it will open the File Manager directly, and you didn't have anything to do, it just works. And click, I selected my file, Align, I'm gonna align my player in the center, okay. Uh, I have some options that are nice. Autoplay, no, I don't like autoplay, I hate that. Allow download, no, I don't want them to download. You know, anybody who knows anything will still be able to get the URL from the, code, the, the source code and get it. But, you know, for others, just say no. Or yes, if you want a download button. And okay. And here's my player. I can now save. Be warned, in this case, we got lucky and the file manager was automatically integrated uh, into the plugin. It doesn't mean it's going to be like that every time. Depends. You know, sometimes yes, sometimes no. So if you have a plugin that depends on using files and it doesn't give you access to the file manager, maybe you shouldn't use it. Here it is. And you can't hear it because I'm not recording my uh, computer sound, but this is working. Here's the time, and it's playing the song. So other than that, this one is pretty good. If you're using a um, bootstrap-based theme for your website, this allows you to, um, to, to, to insert the grid, the bootstrap grid, directly in your content. So let's say in your content, you want to have three columns, four columns, two columns extra. It allows you to insert that uh, directly. Ah, it has a requirement. Let's click on this and what it's loading. Let's save here. Layout manager and save it. So I'll install the base widget plugin that is required. Okay, okay. Here it is, and I'm gonna enable it. And I'm gonna save that. 
Okay. Now, if I uh, go and try to use that, so first I'm going to clean up a bit my content here. I'm going to remove that. This. This and then delete this. Okay, so uh, here it is. Uh, I'm using Concrete Five D4 team uh, default theme, uh, uh, which is Elemental, which is a Bootstrap based. So that's okay. That's gonna work here. So I choose a layout. Say I want uh, three equal columns like that. I click, and here it is. First column, second one, third one. I can edit, I can remove. So, you know, that's pretty nice. Uh, I can add some text or whatever. Uh, a tab, second column, and a tab again, and third column. And here you go, I have installed bootstrap columns in my content directly and that's pretty neat so other plugins that i like if you need to add a, a chart this one that's the only free one uh it's not super advanced but for simple charts and stuff like that it's pretty good it's called chart simply this one uh that's really useful you should definitely have that on your website by clicking on a button you can cha change uh the, the the case of the text you know change to uppercase lowercase capitalize it extra very easily so you select you click it's really useful mm -hmm.